Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 70 of 100 days 100 concepts. So with this video we have been achieved 70% of our you know, goal of uploading 100 videos before gate 2021. And in this video we will discuss about stress intensity factor. So first of all what is this stress intensity factor? So it is basically denoted by K or K1 they call. Okay. So what is this? So let's say we have a body, okay, a small rod. Okay, let's assume that we have a small cylindrical rod, something like this, and you are applying some load on it, okay, some load sigma. Okay, so if this is a perfect body, perfect body as in uh, there are no defects, okay, let's assume that there are no defects in the body, okay. So, if there are no defects, then this load is actually distributed uniformly at all the locations, okay, around the cross section, right, uniformly around the cross section. But, what if you have some defects in the body, okay, let's say I have a sheet, okay, metal sheet, and if I have a metal sheet like this, and you have some again you are applying some sigma but now this material is not defect free that means this contains some defects okay so let me take some hole something like this okay let's consider this to be an elliptical hole or a crack okay so now because of this particular defect, we call these defects as stress concentration sites. So, what will happen at these uh, stress concentration sites is that in the name itself, you can see that your stress, whatever you are applying, will be concentrated at this particular notch or the, this particular crack. So, basically, what it means is as compared to the stress somewhere here okay around this cross section if you are looking at it you have the highest stress coming at the crack tip so you have a stress profile created something like this that means as you come close to my crack tip or the stress concentration site you can see that it is going to take more load on it more stress on it so what happens this particular stress concentration may actually be used okay for crack initiation and crack propagations also right so it these may be the stress concentration sites may be any notches okay or any small cracks or even any inclusions that are present because inclusions are basically non metallic okay so basically we have non metallic inclusions which are brittle in nature. So, as these non metallic inclusions are brittle in nature, there will be stress concentration as we already explained, and these can result in crack formations and it can propagate throughout my material. Right. So, how can we see this mathematically? So, I already said we have something called as stress intensity factor. So, it is nothing but the ratio of the maximum load that you have at the tip of the crack or your any stress intensity i mean stress concentration site to the applied load that means you can write k equal to sigma max divided by sigma and this can be written as 1 plus 2a by p what are these a and b here so here i already assume that i am taking an elliptical hole right so 2a is my major axis and 2b is your minor axis so as you can see if you have a narrower crack then you see that your b will decrease right and because of that your stress concentration will increase okay so if sigma max increases you can directly see if it exceeds the fracture stress of your body it can easily fail right 
so this is when you have an elliptical hole so let's consider that if you have a circular hole okay okay or a circular crack let's assume that we have it now k will be equal to what we know that it is 1 by sorry 1 plus 2 into a by b but for circle we know the major axis and the minor axis both are equal both are nothing but the diameters right so here a will be equal to b so k will be equal to 3 for a circular hole that means the sigma max the stress concentration that you find at the tip at any point of you know uh, the circumference you see that your sigma max will be three times of your applied stress sigma right so this is how you can study whether the stress concentration is going to help for failing the sample that means it is going to result in a fracture or not okay so this is about stress intensity factor and this k when it is just uh, you know reaching the fracture okay so that means when k is tending to kc we call right so this kc is basically my fracture toughness which we call my critical stress intensity factor so this is nothing but when my uh, material is tending to fracture right so what is the stress concentration what is the maximum stress that my material can withstand before fracture is given by my kc okay and of course it can be also explained in terms of uh, energy right so this is about stress intensity factor so this is uh, one basic video and i hope uh, it helped you many people have asked for this concept so i hope you like it if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also we are starting a new batch tomorrow that is uh, sorry day after tomorrow that is december 26th where we discuss all the technical questions of last 10 to 15 years in a scheduled way in a more practical way okay in a time feasible for many people who are who may be job goers who may be having some other uh, you know office works okay so this batch actually will be there after 6 30 pm or after 7 pm daily okay where we are going to discuss each and every question break down into these basic concepts and in an easy way right so if you are interested please go find the link in the description and tomorrow is the last date in order to enroll for it right so if you are interested please go and don't miss this opportunity even for people who are doing self preparation this will definitely help you a lot so please do check it out so that's it from this video we'll meet you tomorrow with one more interesting video thank you